Hi everyone, um, here's a project that I created for I Am Roses. This is a basket filled with chocolate dipped strawberries and I created this for my daughter's teacher for Valentine's Day and I really enjoyed making this. I love um, Sherry's Berries chocolate dipped strawberry so I thought it would be really fun to um, create some for my daughter's teacher and I'm going to fill it in with some Hershey Kisses and to create that I used the Biggs Pro basket bag die. It's the basket and then it has the handle. And then the paper collection is Kane Company's Sweetheart Collection in the specialty paper. Really gorgeous papers. And what I did to the handle first was I layered it with of Carla's flower trim, which I love. And then I add this mini Iron Roses pink crochet flower, which is JC1 and it comes in different colors and then I layered the ribbon buckle on top and I'll have that link down below as well and then I add some of Sock Crafters um, 10 millimeter a flat back pearl on top and then on the basket itself I add some of Carla's Bona Shabby Chic trim in the beige and then I layered it also with um, the flower trim and it's wrapped around the entire basket and the front here this is I Am Rose's R40 flower in the red really beautiful flowers and I spray that with my favorite Lindy Stamp Gang's scintillating silver and the glit spritz and then I add the S3 white cherry blossom on the sides and I also spray that with the scintillating silver as well. Here I added a tag and this is from the die cut pack from the same collection and then I used some of this twine that I got from my local Michaels. It's called Jute Packaging Twine. I really like it because it's very thin. And so I tied that on the side of the basket. And then inside are my strawberries. And to create the strawberries, it's one of MFT um, Stamps um, New Dynamics, which is the berry box die. I love it because it has the embossed seeds on the strawberry. And this is what my strawberry looks like. So for the top here, um, it already comes with that from the die, but what I used was I'm Rose's um, new flower petal, which is a P25-151, and I stained that with my favorite um, Starburst in the Ponderosa Pine Olive. Love this green. It's a really beautiful green, and it has a really nice gold shimmer to it. Um, you guys can see that. I just love the shade. And then I um, tied the box with, again, the same twine, and then add Iron Rose's mini white rose on top. And then to create the chocolate dip part, I used um, Coordination's um, paper. Um, let me see here, where is that paper? It has red on one side and then brown on the other side, which is this one right here. And the color is called Cherry um, Coriol. And that was what created my chocolate dipped strawberry. And then it was able to fit four of these inside the basket. So I'm going to fill it in with some Hershey Kisses. And again, to create the strawberry, I use the same um, collection from King Company, which is a sweetheart collection. And then I added some red shredded paper in the bottom. So to create the strawberry, um, here's a pre-cut die cut of the strawberry. And then all you're going to do is just fold in the crease lines. It's a really quick um, project to make. And all you have to do is just add some adhesive to this flap right here. And I'll just use some of my, let's see here, my glossy accents. You can use your hot glue if you want. It's really quick to put together. It just makes a really um, adorable strawberry. You can even use this as a heart die cut if you want to. So it looks like that, okay? And then to create the, the chocolate dip part, all you need is another die cut, which I have here, okay? And this is the same color. It has the red on the back. 
but I'm going to show you other different colors that you can use too for your chocolate. So all you're going to do is again just do the Mountain Valley fold. And then where you see this flap right here, you're going to use that as your guide. And all I did was just cut, I cut below the line, I just cut straight across, okay? And then you're going to add, again, adhesive to that flap. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, it looks like that. And then you're going to add adhesive inside here. And um, please excuse my red hands. I was making some Valentine projects for my daughter's classmates. And then you're just going to add it in here like so. Just kind of press it down so it adheres nicely. Okay, and then there you got it. You've got your chocolate dipped strawberry. Let me show you the other colors that you can use. So for white chocolate, I'm using this color, which is also coordinations, but it's the canvas texture one. And this color is um, sand trap. So you could use that for white chocolate. So I'll show you what that looks like. Let's just add a little glue here. Kind of get an idea. Put it over here. Oh, it's too, I cut that too low. Let me get another strawberry here. So it looks like that. Really cute. So you got the white chocolate dipped strawberry. And then for the milk chocolate, I used another coordinations paper, which is the smooth texture. And that color is Mocha Divine. So we'll add some adhesive to that. So we'll see what the milk chocolate looks like. Where's that? I this. So it looks like that. Really cute. And then we have the dark chocolate. And this color is another coordinations, which is smooth texture again. And this color is coffee. So I'm going to add some pieces again. And you, can, you can even mix it up in the basket if you want. You can do one of each chocolate co covering on the strawberry. So that's what the dark chocolate deep strawberry looks like. Really super fun. I, I really liked how it turned out. And then for the top, really easy. All you have to do is just take one of these petals, okay? Then I'm going to take my Ponderosa Pine Olive and it has a dauber top. Just going to Squeeze it onto the flower here. And this is what's great about Iron Roses and Lindy Stamp Gang. They just, the stains just blend into the mulberry paper flowers so nicely. I'm going to go ahead and heat set that real quick for you. And I just heat set it just a little bit. I want it to be still a little bit moist because I'm going to crumple it up because I want my strawberry, the leaves, to look a little more realistic. And then I'm just going to unravel it. I think I'd done this technique a while back um, with the new stamp gang. Okay, so it looks like that. And then just heat set it again. Okay, 
And then you got your leaf for your strawberry. Really cool. Here's another one that I did. It's really fun. So you can get all these beautiful roses at imroses.com. Thank you for watching. Bye.